Major Slack videos. Hey, the name is Slack. Thanks for coming back. Let's walk through some more Elden Ring. Here's my girl here in Carrier Manor, Manor Upper Level. I believe this particular side of race is called, and we're gonna start working this upper level. Um, she's got a pretty nicely decked out. I'm okay. Let's let's just admit it, okay? Let's just talk about the big elephant in the room. In Elden Ring, armor sucks. It sucks. Come on, let's face it. Armor sucks. You mean you put on all this armor, it piles up all this extra equipment load, and you get what? Like maybe a paltry 25% physical damage negation? I mean, come on. You know, that's that's got to be like the the item that gives you the least return on your investment in Elden Ring. So I don't know, I, I think henceforth I'm just going to be dressing my girl for fashion. So I think she looks pretty fashionable like that. <laughs> okay, and I've got the great sword on and uh, glintstone staff, manor tower shield, arsenal charm, star scourge heirloom, and the assassin's crimson dagger. And I want to go down to Warmaster Shack and make a special purchase. The Great Sword. It comes by default with the stamp upward cut skill on it. Oh, it's nighttime. I'd only be facing this boss here because it's it's kind of like a pointless boss to fight. The rewards you get is completely uh, completely useless. Okay, and um, yeah, stamp upward cut. Press the skill button. Follow up strong attack, and that's what you get. Fantastic. Fantastic skill. That's the default skill on the greatsword. However, um, you can't put any affinities on it. It's not a removable skill. All you can do is put other skills on it. See? To learn them. So I know this might seem like a really strange thing to do to buy a skill that is already on the weapon itself, but um, well, by doing this, we'll be able to apply the stamp uppercut to the great sword and apply the affinity of our choice, which will be the cold affinity. All right. So now the damage on this just went from, I believe it was at 315 before, now it's up to 393. Just for demonstration of purposes, undo enhancement, yeah 317, so we bumped up the damage from 317 to 393. That's the whole point of buying stamp uppercut. That's what I'm talking about. All right, let's get back to the war. Manor, upper level. Get right with your maker. Here comes Sammy Powers. First thing we're gonna have to deal with is some giant wolves. These guys could easily break their stamps with a stamp uppercut and a charge attack. And then you could either, if you could get around to the front of them quickly enough to do a critical hit, critical hit which is not um, very often, or just do another charge attack. break his stance and that's one of the situations where I knew I'd never be able to get around to the front to do a critical hit so I just finish him off with another charge attack grab golden seed 
Same thing with this guy. Yeah. We're gonna fly Air Sammy. You seen this people? <laughs> he was like buried right in the rock. Looks like the game doesn't like my new strategy. One more wolf. Right here. Here, doggy. Does he see me? Nope. Got him. And critical hit. Beautiful. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Bad doggy. Bad doggy. Give me your goodies. Very good. Okay, we're gonna just leave that guy alone for now. And hustle on over here to this side, up the ladder. Hey buddy. What's your story? <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> he didn't stand a chance. I'm packing a great sword there, buddy. A colossal sword. The thing, what he does with his staff, he doesn't even use any magic. He, he just tries to hit me with it. The weakest attack in the game. Oh, he deserves to die. Alright. And let's just make the hop over here. And just hide in the bushes and wait for some of these these guys here to jump up and come to the defense of the troll. Just do a guard counter on them. Yeah. Rinse and repeat. One, another one's going to come up. Or not. There's a guy down there. And another one there. Um, let's see if we can get their attention. I'm gonna take care of all these guys before you take on the troll. Nope, not the troll. You. You're next. You're the next contestant. I get your ass kicked by a guard counter. That's right, up here. No, no, up here. Not a hop up. Take your time, why don't you? It's okay, I got all day. Here we go. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> so you get for waiting. Did we wake up the troll? That's not good. No, no. Back to sleep, you go. Hmm, interesting. Oh, we did wake up the troll. Uh, whoop. What are you going to do? You could actually come up here? Huh. Okay, well, he's got his back turned. I'm going to throw a fire pot on this guy. Bombs away. <laughs> okay, I did not want to wake up the troll. Not that he's going to be a big problem, uh, but uh, he's going to shout. And everything's blocking his shout. He's just waiting for that other the mage to come up. Calm down there, big boy. We have big plans for you. 
Okay, here we go. Is that the troll doing that? Jeez, I didn't even know he had that kind of attack. Well, he looks a pretty angry. Um, <laughs> Let's just continue up this way. Here we go. Took you long enough. We wait for you. Okay, and these guys are going to take two guard counters to put them into critical. That's one. And... Well, okay, well, two will kill him. That's one. Huh. Oh, uh, now I remember. I was testing this with a default greatsword before. So now we're just killing him with two guard counters. But if you don't kill him, you get, on the second guard counter, you'll get a critical hit. You there. How about a little backstabbing? And the charge attack. Oh, nice dodge. And the troll has calmed down. Excellent. That's exactly the way we want it. Okay, the shield's going to be useless. In fact, they don't want to block him. I need to just take that up temporarily. And, um... My little demi-humans, I got some work for you. Out you go. That guy? Yeah, that guy. Don't worry about it. We got this. We got this. <laughs> Why didn't get in there, boys? Okay, here we go. But I can't even see where I am. Got him, finally. A nice, nice position for a critical hit, too. Great. You still alive? Well, oh, that was unusual. Okay, and he gives up the troll's knight sword. That should be no problem. You know, like uh, there was some unexpected uh, situations there. Should be able to handle them no problem. You see, I've got plenty of resources left, and the demi humans keep them nice and busy. What's going on down here? Two stamp upward cuts will break his stance. Although breaking his stance on the stairs is really problematic because typically he falls forward and then you, when you come around the front to try to do a critical hit you're like too low to get to the critical hit spot so... Alright boys, off you go. Nice job. Thanks for your help. This is the Royal Knight Loretta boss fight area. Don't go in the center area, the center circle, because the boss fight will start. We got some other business to take care of first. And then afterwards, we're going to speed run back through this area and do the boss fight. First, go to the no south. Let's just get this correct here. Southwest. And um, there's a little jar of village down there. And this is hammer time. Definitely hammer time. These guys are susceptible. Highly susceptible to strike damage. So put on our large club. And the brick hammer in the other hand. And basically we'll be doing jump attacks. Dual wielding jump attacks. Or dual wielding attacks. Okay, to start off, we're going to have to make a long jump there. Uh, loop. And again. Whoa, but watch it now. Okay. 
And finally, <coughs> pardon me. Still recovering from this uh, bubonic plague that I caught over the weekend. I'm much better now. <laughs> I'm coughing much better today. <laughs> okay, you. Nice. It'll stand a chance. Whacking them up here, boss. Okay, we got some crystal darts. Should be a cracked pot around here somewhere. There you go. Make sure you get that before you go down to the next level. What are we doing? It's like we're going for the Carrion Grandeur Ash of War. It is... can we see it from here? I don't think so, but it's down there. I'm going to show you how to get it. Okay, so once we finish this area, make the point of no return. Here we go. Okay, we got some big ones here. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's what I meant to do earlier. <laughs> the other big guys up front. Up, up, like up there. Jump attack, like use the guard button so you can bring both weapons down. Jump, guard button. And then roll back, rinse and repeat. Takes care of those guys right nicely. Alright, our work here is done. This is the next level. There it is, right there. The Carrion Grandeur Ashabor. What? Watch it up. Almost missed the gap. And voila! He's done, no? So, obviously, we're gonna have to fast travel out of here. Let's go. Visit our favorite crash test dummy at the Third Church of America.
and slap this. Carrying grandeur. Let's put it on the Lord Sworn's greatsword. Cold affinity. Give her a little test drive. <laughs> Okay, three different levels is chargeable. This is what it looks like. Or if you hold down the skill button. Or if you hold down the skill button a long time. <laughs> um, we get you set up with a little bit of uh, golden bath. Let's give it you. All right. Mr. Troll, don't take it personally. Not too shabby. Skills with intelligence and the upgrade level of the weapon. You put on a dagger too. <laughs> hmm. I only need two more 2,000 to level up. Well, another round, bartender. What did I do? Oops. That's just too much fun. You survived? Okay. And again. He's like, you, again? <laughs> that's, that's sweet. <laughs> that's too much fun. 
Okay, that ought to do it. And perfect, because we want to empty out our runes for what's coming up next. The hellacious Royal Knight Loretta boss fight. Don't worry, I got your back. Stick with the slack. And you won't get whacked. Alright, points into endurance once again. Huh, I'm in it. Unusual situation where I, I can actually have zero money going into a boss fight. Let's go buy an arrow. Ah, always a pleasure. Goodbye. There you go, zero runes. Nothing to lose. Right. Back up to the scene of the crime. All right, so basically we're gonna speed run up to the Royal Knight Loretta boss fight. I've already shown you how to do all this part here at the Wolves and the Troll and everyone else, and we've got the Caring Grandeur spell. Um, I did take down Royal Knight Loretta with the Caring Grandeur spell. I wouldn't recommend it. Um, it was a lot of fun though. I just want to do some field testing. I figured the Probably the Bloodhound's Fang would be the best weapon. I just want to do some field testing with some other weapons. That, like, you know, we've got lots of options at our disposal here. Yeah. Sammy Powers. That's why I called her Sammy Powers, because I knew I was going to create a Weapon Master with this Samurai build. All right, so that's what's coming up next. Royal Knight Loretta boss fight. Thanks a lot for watching. If you thought this was remotely entertaining and or informative, you know what to do. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. Post a comment, please. And I'll see you next time for some more Elden Ring. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1, that's all. That's all it takes. Alright, thanks a lot. Really appreciate it.